Hello singles and welcome to Blend Sagittaro. My name is Robin and today we're going to do your love reading for the next couple of weeks. We're going to find out what's coming your way, what's happening, what's shaking. I want to say it is a general love reading so it, not all of it will resonate so please take what does and leave what doesn't but if you're guided to see this video I want to say thank you so much for liking, watching and subscribing. I appreciate that and I hope you enjoy your reading and there's a message here that benefits you. Let's get into it. So show us what's going on with the Singles Collective. This is for no sign. If you're guided to see this video, there should be a message here for you. Whoa, that one like flying. Holy, it's like, it's all the way beside, behind my Bosu ball. Hold on a second, let me go find it here. Okay. Milk and honey. <laughs> so something sweet is about to happen. Maybe something sweet and romantic. Let's find out, singles. Let's find out. But you're about to be rewarded. You're about to get something that you've been waiting for. And it's going to be sweet. So what's going on with the Singles Collective, please? Show us what's coming their way in love in the next couple of weeks. Okay, so the Five of Pentacles. You're telling me to cut it again, all right? Oh. All right, show us what's coming up for Singles in the next couple of weeks in love, please. There we go. Now it's talking, giving us some cards to look at. What do we got here? So we got the Five of Pentacles, the Hermit in Reverse, the Two of Pentacles in Reverse, the Seven of Cups, we have the Eight of Wands. What else do we have for singles, please? Oh, the Nine of Pentacles. The Two of Swords, look at that. Both of them upside down, both twos directly underneath each other, and both twos. <laughs> so that just is representative of choices. So both those cards are in reverse, which is interesting. So it looks like you've made your mind up. You've made your choice. Let's see. Oh, and the overall energy vibe and theme for you singles is the tower. Major, major change, major shakeup. Maybe something surprising, something kind of shocking, something unexpected, but major change. Let's find out what this change is. What's going on here? Because it's pretty sweet change. I don't get it like it's a bad tower. Some bad tower moments are like horrible, but I get some of them are also really good, right? Um, so what is this five of pentacles? Because we go into the next couple of weeks. Looks like you're feeling sad, but it looks like you're coming out of that mode. So what is this five of pentacles? The knight of rods. Ooh, okay. What else do you want to say about that? Okay. So you've been feeling a little bit sad, a little bit withdrawn, a little bit like you've been waiting for... Basically, you've been waiting for love. <laughs> Honestly, I feel like you've been trying to wait for the person that has the key to your heart, but you're not going to settle. You're, you know, people come and go, but the right one hasn't come. But I think that right one might be rushing in right now. We've got the Knight of Rods here. Um, so actually, uh, okay, I'm getting two different, okay, there's two different storylines here. Um, so for some of you that are guided to this video, the person, this Knight of Rods is a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sag. But they've been in and out. They made you sad. <laughs> they made you feel sorrow. They made you um, unhappy because of their in and out behavior. Um, and then for some of you, you got a fire sign rushing in to take you away from that loneliness. Somebody that you've been waiting for because you're not settling. But either way, you're coming out of that sad and loneliness energy. So the Virgit, the Virgit, <laughs> the Hermit, aka the Virgo energy, is in reverse, which means you're coming out of that. You've made your choice, but then we got the choice here. What is this choice? What is this Seven of Cups and Two of Pentacles in reverse? What is this choice that the singles are making here? Clarify Seven of Cups. Whoa, it's stuck in my nail. I think that was the Nine of Swords. There's the Tower. Uh, yeah, that's Tower Upright again. A lot of change here. You're going through explosive change. So we got, you're making the choice to drop the anxiety, to drop the worry, drop the fear, drop the doubt. You're going after what you want here. The emperor. Okay. So again, with the two different storylines, it's really hard when that happens because you're, you see two things. It's like your brain is like seeing like two different lines here. Um, okay. So for those of you where the person's coming back. Um, it is very shocking to you that they return. They could be an Aries, but here's that fire sign coming in. They're a go-getter. Um, they are going after you because that's what they want. And it might be sweet. It might be a really good feeling to have this past person come back and be like, you know, that in and out person be like, I want you. I need you. I want to be with you. It catches you totally off guard. It's very shocking and surprising and it's very sweet. It's a good feeling. This person who made you feel left out, this person who was in a note is now ready to commit to you and say, hey, I want to be with you. And that's shocking but sweet. 
Now, for those of you where that's not the case, and you're coming out of that sadness, enters fire sign, Aries. <laughs> and it's a little shocking that you finally found someone to, to that's up to your standards. You know, you have high standards. You're not going to just settle for anybody. Um, so it's, you're like, dang, like, is this real? Like, it's a shakeup for you because you've, I feel like you've been single for a long time. You've been by yourself, very independent. It's nothing wrong with being alone. You're not lonely. You're just alone, right? A lot of people misunderstand that. Some people are good being alone. I'm good being alone. Um, I'm good being, being single, but, um, you've been single for a hot minute and finally someone comes in, like, look at the victory. It's like, you look at this person <laughs> and it's like, are you for real? Did I really just meet someone that I can move forward with? Someone that I can settle down with? Like they shake up, they shake you to the core basically is what I'm seeing. Like you're, they shake you to the core. You're, um, it's funny in this deck, um, they have the regrowth card and it's like this tree regrowing. That's kind of what I see. Like somebody ready to grow and build. I've never noticed that before. It's funny with the tarot when that happens. Um, this emperor that comes in is ready to regrow with you. Both sides, both storylines. They want to reinitiate this with you. And for both storylines, you're blown away. You're shaken to the core because it's something you never expected. So it's like, it's always good when that happens. So it's a good, like, you know, okay, let's see what you do about it. So you have the eight of wands, you have the nine of pentacles, you have the two of swords, and you have the empress in reverse. So the eight of wands is representative of communication, forward movement. Do you want to say anything or clarify anything about the eight of the truth? So you're, you're getting, both storylines are getting to the bottom of things. You're getting to the truth. You're getting to figure out, you're, you're talking to this person. Um, both of you are interacting, going forward, trying to figure out what you want. What is your truth? What is, what do you want? What it, like, what do you want? Do you want to be single? Or do you want to be in a relationship? Do you want to go forward with this person? What do you want to say about the Knight of Pentacles? So the Knight of Pentacles I perceive as you. So you could be an earth sign or you could have earth in your chart, but I perceive you as being single and abundant. Yeah, see, the cycle, <laughs> the cycle of being single is over. That, that cycle's over. I, like I said, I've sensed for that, especially for that one storyline, you've been single for a while. That is coming to an end. You're, the indecision, the crossroads, the going back and forth, the lack of beginnings, that is coming to an end for you. Do you want to say anything else about this Empress in reverse? Yeah, like you're squishing it. You're done with that. Like the Five of Swords, wow, and the Queen of Cups. So you're pushing you're dropping that you've yeah so <laughs> and i i'm sorry for this person that was coming in and out and even for you where you're you're you fall in love with this person they will end up owning your heart or they already own your heart and it's just being reinforced but you're turning your back on the past you're turning your back on being single because this person definitely pulls on your heartstrings here they um they own your heart they definitely have a piece of you. So let's find out where the situation, we'll get some advice first before we find out where this is in a month for you. both storylines. We'll see where you guys choose to do. Um, what do you have to surrender to though? Ooh, surrender denial. <laughs> Accept people and situations exactly as they are without denying the difficulties. Then you can see things clearly and make the best decisions. And I do see that because look, she's blindfolded there, but she's in reverse. So this is more for the storyline where the past person was like in and out. You have to, you know, remove the blindfold and you see the situation as it is. Can you trust them again? Can you go forward with them? Don't, don't ignore certain things because you want something so badly is the message that I, I sense there. Let's get your energy oracle message. What is that message for this collective single, please? What would you like to say to the collective single? All right, they just, oh, they got two. Five, card of change. <laughs> And 52, the goddess, okay. It's time to um, notice all these fives here. Five, five, five. So, um, and there's another five too. So fives are representative of change. Change is never easy. If it was, we would all just change all the time. So there's a lot of change and we see that. You're going through major, major change in your life here. But you have some sort of attachment. So the cards are telling you here, it remove that attachment. Surrender denial. I'm not exactly sure. Um what you're denying let me see if the cards want to say but before we do that that trust your intuition because the goddess is in reverse this is the card of pisces this is the card of the moon right equivalent in the tarot and it's in reverse so you're not fully trusting your intuition here i think for some of you you're really attached um, i'm sensing to that past night wands there that past in and out person 
and your attachment to them is clouding your intuition, your judgment. You're you're not seeing through the blunt. You're you're not you're denying how they treat you. I don't know if you know. It feels so good when they come back, but for you, this is um, yeah. I don't need to clarify that. You're just you need to make sure that it's not your attachment is that you're moving forward because of. So it's just settle your minds, um, do some meditation. Maybe don't take make any haste decisions. Take your time to really make sure that what you do with this person is what you want to do. Um, listen to your intuition, not just attachment. Like some of us are very loyal or attached to someone because it's familiar. But this is all about change. We have five, 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 five. <laughs> this is all about change and forward movement. Sometimes we got to do that without people. Um, and then for those of you in which that is not your storyline, let's pull you an energy oracle because that's clearly um, for the storyline with the past person. So for those of you, for those where the Aries is coming in, their new emperor, what's the message that you have for those singles? Because there's, you know, you need your own message. Oh, okay. First shocker, Archangel Michael, 35. And man to holding coin. <coughs> Excuse me. 43. So this person coming in, this Aries, they're going to be very established, very wealthy, very, um, they're going to be a very masculine energy. It could be feminine or female or female or male, but masculine energy. And they're going to bring stability to your life. So I feel like you are already on your own, very comfortable and very stable, but together it's going to be magical. Look at the, the crown chakra enlightened on him. Look at the gold wings. It's going to be um, a very stable financially, emotionally. It's going to be a very strong connection. They're going to make give you a lot of extra stability in your life. And it could be somebody from work. So keep an eye out for someone from work or a wealthy man or a wealthy woman with a masculine energy. You know, sometimes powerful women have a little bit more of a masculine energy to them. Um, there's nothing wrong with that. <laughs> I'm just saying. So uh, keep an eye out for that. But that and definitely um, they're going to bring a lot of stability into your life. So if you're not feeling stable or if you're worried about some kind of stability, it's the person that's coming in this Aries, this fire masculine energy. They are going to bring stability back into your life. All right, so I got these new healing cards here, Single Collective. So let's see what message they have. And then we'll find out where this is in a month. Work daily towards improving your mental health. So that is the message that they have for somebody there. All right. Let's see. Let's just get into it. <laughs> where does it stand in a month? There is always free will. This is potential. But what does uh, the singles do with this person? Both storylines. We're shaking what's happening. What do they end up doing? What's the potential outcome here? And them and this person coming in oh well 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 what do we got here so we got the nine of wands the five of wands the two of pentacles in reverse a second time the knight of cups and the ace of wands in reverse so you're dropping the fighting so you're, you're going for balance you're choosing to balance out your life you're balancing the conflict and the love you're using your emotions like you're going with your emotions and your fire like you're balancing you've balanced you found that balance you're like a wounded war warrior here collective so you're wounded but like i said it's bittersweet because you're wounded but you're kind of happy it feels good that this person's coming and saying these things to you and wanted to be with you and you're resolving this conflict i sense that but what i can't figure out is why why is the ace of wands in reverse it's like i see you going forward with it i see you balancing um, you know, your hearts, your fire, your passion, your spirit with your emotions. Like, I, I feel like you're balancing that. You care about this person. And then we got the, but you're moving towards the Ace of Wands in reverse. So why? Why are we moving towards the, oh, I'm telling you, okay, it's telling me to use this deck. Why are we in the Ace of Wands in reverse? Why is, what's, your, what's being blocked? What is the, you're blocking your happiness. So we have the Ten of Cups. The nine of cups and the eight of coins in reverse you're literally you don't go forward with this person i feel like you're blocking your own happiness the eight of coins is in reverse this person there was so much happiness so much love so for those of you where this person came from the past you just don't want their games anymore you're blocking them you're not moving forward yeah they say they're going to be happy yeah they say this they say that they say that but ultimately you've played their games and you don't believe them and for the other storyline where it's the emperor that comes in, you've evaluated this. You've looked at it from every direction. You've, this person, um, you fell for this person. You developed feelings for this person, but no, you don't, you block it. You determine something must happen for that storyline. 
don't work on it with this person. The Eight of Pentacles is in reverse. You don't want to work on it. No matter how happy they might have made you, no matter what kind of things they might have said to you, you just felt like it wasn't right. It wasn't, uh, you didn't settle. They weren't exactly what you wanted for either one. So I'm sorry that that happened. Let's see if the cards want to say anything about new love then. Do you want to give us any, ink? okay. So the Six of Swords. So for new love, we talk about swords, we're talking about fall. So it could be coming this fall, it might be next fall, or if you're in a different hemisphere, your fall could be different. <laughs> um, but it's going to be with an air sign, somebody intellectual, somebody who wants to move forward and work forward. It's not going to be a slow connection. It will be a quick connection. It's like, I love you. Boom, let's move forward. There's no hesitancy on your end, which I sense hesitancy here right now. Um, but there won't be that. They'll bring you from the rocky waters and they'll move forward. But I do sense it's fall. So it could be this fall. It could be next fall. Um, it's not to say you're not going to have any relationship in between, but that's the next time I see you falling in love. But either way, it feels good, this person coming in in the next week or two, but you don't want that. So just because it feels good doesn't mean that's what you want, and you say no. All right, singles, that's what I have for you. Let's get your yes or no question. And the answer is yes, but not now. All right, thank you so much for watching. Good luck.